There are many myths that people fall for in the fitness world. Personally, I shoved protein powder down my throat just because it was protein powder and it was required to build muscle. I also bought supplements after supplements, being promised that I would get results. Sometimes I even starved myself and ran for hours on the treadmill just to lose weight. Yet, nothing happened to my body and my body just stayed the same. In Bigger, Leaner, Stronger, many of these myths are debunked and we are given specific steps that help us in achieving the body of our dreams. One of the biggest myths that is debunked is more sets would equal more growth. Mike Matthews, the author, talks about how he used to lift weights daily for two or more hours, thinking that he would get bigger and stronger by doing more and more. Yet, he stayed exactly the same. Sometimes he would even get injured and he would be exhausted after a workout. He eventually learned that for natural lifters, doing too many sets can lead to overtraining, which means that instead of becoming stronger, you may actually injure yourself or even make yourself weaker. Instead of two or more hours in the gym, a workout is recommended to be around 60 minutes. Another myth that people fall for is that we waste time with the wrong exercises. In fact, the exercises that we choose really matter. Free weights are more effective at building muscle than if you were just to use the machines. One of my friends goes to the gym and he only does the bicep curl machine. He goes Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and he does nothing but curls and then goes home. And again, his arms are not getting any bigger, and he has been doing this for months. A bicep curl is what's called an isolation exercise, which focuses just on one muscle. It is recommended to start with compound exercises, which incorporates multiple muscles into one exercise. For example, if we did a chin up, we would be exercising the bicep, but also the upper back, the traps, and a whole lot more. The next myth that gets debunked is spot reduction, which is the idea that exercising a specific body part can make it more toned and help reduce the fat. In high school, I really wanted to impress the girls by getting a six pack. I did dozens of crunches every day and I did them until my neck hurted. However, the problem was that I had this extremely big gut. My dream of my six pack never came true and I never impressed any girls. If I wanted a six pack, I would have needed to understand that fat loss happens all over the body and it is impossible to control where the fat loss happens. If I knew this, I would not have strained my neck from doing so many crunches. And this brings us to the next part in the book, where we are taught about the laws of muscle growth. The first law of muscle growth is progressive overload, which is when you either increase the weight or the amount of repetitions that you do over a period of time. When I first started weightlifting, I would use a machine and I would always use the same weight for weeks. I was afraid to increase the weight because I thought I might hurt myself, but nothing happened to my body even though I was grinding at the gym. There needs to be a reason for your muscles to grow. If I found a reasonable weight that felt somewhat heavy, then I would be successfully breaking down muscle fibers, which then can repair and become bigger and stronger. The next two laws of muscle growth is that in order for muscles to repair and become bigger, we need to get enough rest and enough food. Back when I first started lifting, I read somewhere that we need protein to build muscle, and yes, that is true, but that was the only thing I ate. I avoided carbs and fatty foods, thinking that I was going to get shredded just from eating protein. However, that way of eating made me even smaller and skinnier. I had no energy and could not function properly, and I was not eating enough to grow bigger and stronger. However, something that I did do correctly before I read this book was getting enough rest which means sleeping for at least 7 to 8 hours. Focusing on nutrition, how does one eat properly to lose weight or gain muscle? Do we have to only eat healthy foods? And do we have to eliminate all the goodies from our lives? The answer is no. The only thing to watch is our caloric intake. There are other things like vitamins and other essential nutrients that we need, but the most important thing for muscle gain or weight loss is to track what calories come inside your body. Some people mistakenly think that just because they eat healthy, it means that they do not have to track their calories, but healthy foods still have calories. A whole avocado is around 400 calories, and that is almost the equivalent of a Big Mac. 
your diet does not have to consist of only healthy foods. There was a study done where an overweight man only ate McDonald's for an extended period of time and he lost weight. It is recommended that you get 80% of your daily amount of calories from healthy foods and the remaining 20% can be from whatever you like as long as you hit your caloric goal that you are targeting. There will be a link to a caloric calculator that will tell you how much you should be eating in the description below. If you want to gain muscle, eat around 200 to 500 calories above that number. And if you want to lose fat, eat 200 to 500 calories below that. To actually figure out how many calories are in the food that you eat, I would recommend downloading the app MyFitnessPal. Because tracking your calories can make you more aware of how much you're consuming, and you can keep yourself accountable to help you reach your goals. Bigger, Lean and Stronger also provides a solid program that anyone can follow and start working out. Most of the workouts have compound movements, and for all compound movements, do 4-6 to six reps. The 4-6 to six reps should not be easy, and you should be struggling to get to the 6th rep. If you do get 6 reps, then you should increase the weight you're using by 10 pounds, and keep doing this continually every time you hit the 6th rep. After you do a set, rest for 3-4 to four minutes. This might seem like a long time, but research has shown that this resting time will allow you to do more repetitions and in the long run make you stronger. In Bigger, Leaner, Stronger, there's a choice of exercising 5 days a week, 4 days a week, and 3 days a week. For the sake of this video, we're going to do the 3 day split because that way it can help you start out small and is something that can easily be placed into your schedule. For day 1, focus on pulling exercises. Warm up with a deadlift and do 3 working sets. This means doing 3 sets in the 4 to 6 rep range and then rest for 3 to 4 minutes. Then do the barbell row, the chin up, and the barbell curl. Finally, end your workout with abs. The ab workout consists of first doing a weighted exercise like a cable crunch or a hanging leg race, and then doing air bicycles and decline crunches to failure for a set. Then rest and repeat and do the ab exercises 2 more times. On day 2, focus on doing pushing exercises. Warm up with the inclined barbell bend press, and then jump into the workout with 3 working sets. Then do the military press, then do the bench press, then do side lateral raises, and then standing calf raises and seated calf raises. Again, all this should be within the 4-6 to six rep range, and there should be a 3-4 to four minute rest in between. On day 3, we're going to target the legs. Start warming up with the barbell squat, and then do 3 sets, and then do the leg press, and the Romanian deadlift and finish up with the ab workout again. The warm up sets are first starting with a low weight that is easy for you and doing 12 reps. Then you rest for a minute and then repeat the same weight with 10 reps but more quickly. Then increase the weight more slightly and do 4 more reps. This weight should still be significantly lower than your working set. When you feel sufficiently warmed up, move on to your working set. Finally, dial it back every 8-10 to 10 weeks and take a whole week off from lifting. This way, you can fully recover and continue on lifting to become bigger, leaner, and stronger. Thank you so much for watching.